Hello, and welcome to the second part of the four video series on Factor. In this second video, we will be extensively covering the Factor Vaults, how they can be utilized, and how Factor Vaults can be of great benefit to DeFi as a liquidity layer. If you're ready to get started, then let's begin. Vaults are one of the major products offered on the Factor ecosystem and serve tons of beneficial uses. With Factor Vaults, users can easily choose a project they are comfortable with, allocate their tokens to the vault, and watch their portfolio begin to yield profits with various strategies implemented by Factor. Factor Vaults also serve as an essential and innovative way to continue to provide liquidity to the DeFi space. As more users migrate from centralized exchanges to more sustainable and secure DeFi platforms, Factor will play a huge role offering users yield on their tokens with minimal efforts, thereby aggregating liquidity on its debts. By properly managing users' assets, a lot more liquidity will be accumulated for many DeFi protocols to enjoy while the token owners reap their yield on Factor. This makes Factor an invaluable part of the DeFi ecosystem with huge potential on full launch. Now let's see how Factor Vaults actually work. Factor Vaults consist of carefully selected DeFi protocols with sustainable models for long-term growth. Each DeFi protocol is analyzed and an optimal strategy to earn the best APY is formed and implemented into a vault. There are currently tens of vaults available on the Factor testnet, all of which have their unique strategy for the best yield. Let's choose the vault with the current highest APY and see what strategy is being used. The Radiance vault offers over 10% APY and has a very high TVL in the testnet. Users deposit USDC tokens into the Radiant Auto Compounder Vault here on Factor. This capital is then lent out to Radiant Finance Platform and in return, RUSDC is obtained. RUSDC generates yield in the form of USDC tokens, which is harvested three times daily, and those USDC tokens are lent again to Radiant Finance exponentially increasing the profits which can then be claimed by token owners in the form of USDC tokens. A small fee is charged for every deposit, harvest, and swap to keep the Factor ecosystem running and to also give rewards to the FCTR token holders. And you can transparently view all the members of a vault and their shares owned. If a user was to attempt to earn yield manually without the vault, this would be very difficult and the process would be so lengthy. The user would have to buy USDC tokens either from a centralized exchange or swap tokens on a DEX like Uniswap. The user would then have to visit Radiance Finance, connect their wallet to the decentralized app, exchange their USDC tokens into RUSDC, then manually wait until yield is received, and repeat the same process on Radiance Finance again. This is very unfeasible for anyone to do when Factor Vaults allow users to earn passive yield on their tokens in just a few steps, making Factor look even more attractive for newer investors just getting into DeFi. Factor is still in testnet stage, solidifying its proof of concept and ensuring that all vaults are optimized for the best yield possible. The potential for Factor when it fully launches will be enormous. Its easy to use platform, diverse vaults, and attractive APY is sure to attract lots of investors to the platform. More investors means more liquidity available to other DeFi protocols to enjoy, and more yield for investors. This cycle will make Factor a top tier liquidity layer in the DeFi ecosystem, paving the way for a truly decentralized economy. This brings us to the end of the second part of this video series. If you'd like to check out Factor for yourself, head over to factor.fight today to get started.